Hello, hello! This is Simone. Today I'm here with my July Throwback Thursday and this is the Coco Daisy um, Daisy Dory insert in standard size from July 2016 and I am doing a series where I show you all my planning that I did last year. This is because I did not do YouTube last year or at least for the first half of the year and so I thought it would be really nice to look back on how my planning came to be the way it is now. So July Coco Daisy was the kit with the beautiful koi and um, I started using that monthly calendar for a daily doodle. However, as you can see, I stopped on the 11th. I, add, I usually added in the week numbers just because I did project live and that was very important for me to know what week number is which. Um, this page has been, is always my meal planning page and that one I filled out um, very, very well. I did, this is how I usually do it. Um, I often wrote with, um, what is it called? the erasable pens, friction pens, or what I also do is just write in pencil. Then usually here are my goals. And so <laughs> my goals for July were do summer school, go exploring every Thursday. I think we did that. Read the BFG to the boys. Did not finish that because we started playing Pokemon Go and then we went walking in the evening instead of reading. So we finished the BFG just before Christmas this year, last year. Get back into the creative mode. That was because we had visitors all through June. And so I was starving to be creative. And I actually was very creative in July. I just did not um, share it on YouTube or anywhere else. Then I tried to do a small doodle every day in calendar. Well, yeah, did not succeed. And do summer school, yeah. I had a summer school plan and we wrote down what the kids would do and what they would do every day. I stamped all month and then we act, no, I didn't stamp all month. We actually fell off the bandwagon on July 5th. So we did do one, two, three days, yeah that was successful. So I have blank pages here. I really liked the idea of just um, writing what they did every day. Yeah, not working. What we are doing this summer, however, is we have, I found this on Pinterest. I thought I would share because I, I really like that. So we have summer rules and the my kids really love using their electronics and I had to adjust it several times. So, um, have you picked up your room, made your bed, brushed your teeth, washed your mouth, gotten dressed, eaten a healthy lunch? Plus, um, we upped it to 45 minutes for this week because the kids are not doing anything this week, but next week they start summer camps and uh, short activities outside of the home. So I reduced it again to 30 minutes 30 minutes of reading, 30 minutes of coloring, writing, math, whatever school related stuff they want to do. They have chores. Each one of my children is responsible for either setting the table, um, cleaning the table or emptying the dishwasher. And so if they did their chores, they can cross that off. Practice hitting. We have a hitting machine outside in the yard and they, we want them to use it. Played outside, like went to the park, um, walked through uni campus or something like that. Then did something creative like Lego, puzzle, game, um, yeah, playing or coloring or whatever. And then do a wild card task like vacuuming your room or something like that. Then if you did all of these, you can use electronics after 3 p.m. And so far, what is today? Oh, July 6th. So, haha, we are in. <laughs> we actually did one more that day. So, let's see if we can keep that up. Um, it's not really something they don't have to, 
to do they they um, they really have enough time to do all of this and still enjoy their summer and their free time so yeah let's see how that works okay summer school didn't work last year so I have empty pages here and here and I have been thinking of um, not taking out the pages um, completely because they are filled in the back but maybe cutting them out and just leaving a small edge here so that it won't come apart but that I still could use the empty pages that are in the front okay then I have a quote that says friendship is about finding people who are your kind of crazy I still love that one um, then I made a list of things I wanted to do I want to sew write letters do paper crafts um, I wrote down a list of what I wanted to do in the traveling Hobonichi that I received that month. Um, uh, yeah, work on my June Coco Daisy, Daisy Dory, write down um, stories, photos, and what I wanted to do about layouts, and then how I could use my Midori inserts that I had. Um, yeah, uh, then my family went to a Giants game that day but we only had four tickets so I got to spend all day in, and peruse Japan down Japan town for stationery stores and stuff like that I had a wish list that I put in here and then this is the July stories this is where I started thinking about it would be a really good idea to um, yeah, write down the stories that I want to journal about. That's a lot. And I didn't really journal about any of them. So I have been doing a lot better about journaling about myself in uh, the Coco Daisy inserts this year. So I'm really proud of that. What else? Books that I wanted to read. This is where the calendar part or the planner part starts. I had a giant to-do list. I have one again this July. And then I worked on my uh, planner and I used it in the similar way as I do it this month in July 2017 and June 2017. And I started doing this in June 2016. I realized that I didn't really plan a lot in June and so I went back and filled in what we did just as a little memory reminder um, people call this memory planner memory planning and that's probably what what this is so I um, yeah wrote down with a black pen what appointments and to do's and stuff I had to do and then I used my uh, fountain pen to journal little tiny stories like here um, Linus's glasses broke I doodled the glasses made a line and yeah so that's what I did here and usually I added my appointments with I used stamps for boxes and I often matched the ink color to the dominant color of the spread of the decorated pages so here and then I di use different stamps like this one is a studio calico stamp this one is a F Felicity J Jane stamp I did not subscribe to the Coco Daisy planner kit but um, yeah so those boxes weren't in the um, Coco Daisy kits but there are these kinds of stamps also in Coco Daisy kits as well yeah I stamped what we did Thursdays exploring did I did we do that um, we didn't do that on that day yeah we wanted to do the we moved the uh, our um, explore trip to Saturday because there was a soccer game Germany versus France on that day so they were able to watch this um, then we did our okay so we did our exploring day on this week we did we explored that week we explored that week and we did not explore this week but we went to San Francisco on Wednesday so actually 
Yes, we did. We actually did this, achieved the goal that is here in the front. Yes, awesome. Yeah, so what else? Um, yeah, stamped my boxes, what I had to do. I uh, used this Coco Daisy stamp for to-do lists. And then here I actually used the, a different colored pen for my to-dos and black for writing. And then I, uh, at the, the last week of July, I added these, this is a printout from Kaylee Gray. I don't know if you know her or follow her. She's one of the women behind the Get Messy Art Journal. Um, and yeah, I just printed, this is a free printable and I printed it really small. I did this a couple of years ago and I just do put my top three things that I wanted to do each day on that paper and glued it in. And that's it for that month, I think. Yes, I wrote down what I wanted to explore further in future months. And then also um, made a list of things I needed to declutter. And then I'm done with this journal, or not journal, planner, whatever you want to call it. It is a Coco Daisy Daisy Dory insert. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little Throwback Thursday series. I hope to see you next time. Bye!